The bicycle wheel gyroscope is a great way to demonstrate angular momentum, torque, and gyroscopic precession. The tire is 20 inches in diameter and rotates freely on ball bearings. This smaller size makes it easier for smaller students with short arms to use. The two plastic handles make it easy to grip. It comes with a string with a handle to activate the gyroscope. There is a slot that the knot of the string will fit into and it is on both sides so this will work if you are a lefty or a righty. The string has a knot on the end of it that fits into a slot on the side. All you do is make sure the knot is on the outside and then you want to thread the string around the axle and then you are ready to pull it to get it going. So our gyroscope is all set up on this little mounting system. Let's give it a spin and see what it looks like. Well, it's really not that impressive. In order to get a really good experiment, you need to have only one side being supported. Now, if this is not spinning, it's going to naturally just hang down. From the point of support, the center of mass is going to move down so there is a torque in the down direction. Whenever something is spinning, the direction of the spin, the right hand rule will tell you the direction of the angular momentum. So we have angular momentum either going this way or that way. We have the torque of the system pulling it down and you're either going to get motion going clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the spin. I have the string wrapped around the gyroscope I'm going to get ready to get out of the way and first of all give it a good pull. Okay, now I'm going to keep everything the same but now I wrap the string the opposite direction and we're going to see what happens now. I got some help for this one. I got my assistant on the platform, give it a big spin, and as he turns the gyroscope, his direction of rotation also changes. If you want students to really feel and experience angular momentum, torque, and gyroscopic precession, there's nothing better than a good bicycle wheel gyroscope. This is big enough for students of all sizes to really feel the forces, but it's also small enough so that students who are younger and have shorter arms can also do the demonstration. When you couple this with a rotational platform, you get an engaging activity that your students will not forget for years to come.